Let's go ahead and set up this problem. So here's what the question asks. A, a circuit employs a silicon solar cell to detect flashes of light. And what we're doing is we're doing detecting the flashes of light by detecting a current that the solar cell produces. Now the solar cell produces a current this way. All photons reaching the solar cell give their energy to a charge carrier. Okay, so we're going to assume this. One photon creates one electron in the circuit. So if we set it up, let's start with a picture of what the circuit looks like. So the circuit looks like this. Here's my solar cell, and it's hooked up in a circuit. And the circuit basically has an ammeter in it, and it's going to be detecting a certain current. Flashes of light come in. They hit the solar cell. That causes a current to flow in the circuit, and we measure the current. Now the smallest possible current that the circuit can detect is 0 0.42 microamps, which is 0 0.42 times 10 to negative sixth amps, which is equal to 0 0.42 times 10 to negative sixth coulombs per second. Now the current is carried by charge carriers, and the charge carriers are certainly electrons. And each electron carries a current that's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So we have this much current, but the current is a measure of charge per second, and the charge is carried by these charge carriers. So we can work out the number of charge carriers we have, the number of electrons. The number of electrons is just equal to the current, which is the coulombs per second, divided by the charge on the individual electrons. So it's just equal to 0 0.42 times 10 to negative 6 coulombs per second divided by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19th coulombs. I'm going to write it as coulombs per electron. And so what I get is this. I get a number of 2.62 times 10 to the 12th. And these units are coulombs per second divided by coulombs per electron. I just get electrons per second. So this is the number of electrons that are going through the circuit when I have a current of 0.42 amps. Now notice this. We're told to assume that all photons that reach the solar cell give their energy to a single charge carrier. So the number of electrons is just equal to the number of photons, these two numbers are equal to each other. Okay? Now another thing that's going to be useful for us to know is what is the energy corresponding to an individual photon? Well the photons are 550 nanometers. Okay, we're told that. And the energy of an individual photon it's just equal to Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the wavelength. Well Planck's constant's a constant. We know it. The speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We know that. The wavelength is just 550 times 10 to minus 9th meters. And so we have everything we need to calculate the energy of individual photons. And if we do that, we end up with a number of 3.62 times 10 to negative 19th joules. Now I'm going to make a couple of points here. First off, notice that with the number of electrons per second and with the energy corresponding to an individual photon, I've kept three significant figures. That's just to avoid rounding errors. This is an intermediate stage of the calculation. I'll also note this. This number, 3.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules, is approximately equal to two electron volts. Remember, one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules, and something about two electron volts is appropriate for a wavelength in the middle of the visible light spectrum. Well, I think we're ready to calculate the minimum power of a flash of light. We have everything we need to know. So let's go ahead and do our solution. Okay, we know this. Each second, there's 2.62 times 10 to the 12th photons per second. Okay? We also know this, that each photon carries an energy 3.62 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So I have this many photons per second. Each photon carries this many joules. So I can write it as joules per photon. Now if I multiply photons per second times joule for joules per photon, if I multiply those, I get a number in joules per second. And if I work that out, what I get is this. I get 9.5 times 10 to the negative seventh joules per second. 
Now I'm going to rewrite that this way. I'm going to write this as 0 0.95 times 10 to the negative sixth by moving the decimal place. And joules per second, well, joules per second is just watts. This is the power of the flash of light, 0 0.95 times 10 to the negative sixth watts, or writing it another way, 0 0.95 micro watts. That's the minimum power of the flash of light that can be detected. And we work that out by just figuring out how many electrons per second corresponds to the smallest current that can be measured, figuring out the energy per photon. Each photon gives rise to one electron, and so we can figure out, we know the photons per second, we know joules per photon. This is how much energy is being absorbed by the solar cell, 0 0.95 microwatts. Now let's do a quick assessment to see if our answer makes sense. Well, this 0.42 microamps, that's a very, very tiny current. And so we expect that the minimum power will be small as well. And so we end up with the power of microwatts, very, very tiny power indeed. And so our assessment is that our answer makes sense in terms of how we know the world works.